first look at this problem this is also calorimetry it's slightly different now because we're going to use a calorimeter an actual one yes previously we didn't use one so a 15.5 grams of sample of a metal alloy is heated from 98.9 degrees celsius and then dropped into 25 grams of water in a calorimeter the temperature of the water rises from 22.5 degrees celsius to 25.7 degrees celsius calculate the specific heat of the alloy so that's what the question is so let's go ahead and uh, try to answer this there are going to be two energy changes here okay two energy changes one is the alloy to the metal okay and the other um, excuse me alloy to the water okay and the other one is the alloy temperature change okay that we are talking about so there are two temperature changes going on one from the alloy to the metal and then one from uh, the alloy temperature all right so we're going to have to deal with these two things so let's go ahead and get started okay for this one the first thing we're going to do is calculate for the energy changes that were involved for water okay and we start with the same way which is that the mass specific heat and delta t okay in this case so since this is for water we're going to use everything that has to do with water which means the mass of the water is 25.0 grams of water the specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree celsius and then the change in the temperature was for water is from 25.7 to 22 or 22.5 to 25.7 okay degrees celsius so that's what we have and this information is all for water and the answer comes out to be 334 joules which means that it took 334 joules to raise the water temperature okay now the important part here is that the heat released by the alloy then is equal to minus 334 joules okay so when you're raising the water temperature it means that this one is the endothermic part of the reaction or process and then the heat released by the alloy this is going to be the exothermic and hence the signs change okay because one is absorbing and one is releasing okay so now we can calculate for uh, specific heat for alloy okay so the quantity of heat for this and then the mass and now everything here is going to be for the alloy okay not for the water anymore because we use the water to calculate how much energy is given off so to calculate the specific heat is going to be q of the alloy divided by the mass and the delta t so now this is going to be equal to minus 334 joules the mass of the alloy is 15.5 grams and then the delta t over here is going to be um, 25.7 minus 98.9 degree celsius okay remember this is the final temperature of the water 98.9 is the initial temperature of water so once you do the calculations of course this um, temperature will come out to be as negative so that negative will cross out this negative over here and then you should come up with your final answer as 0.29 joules per gram degree celsius okay that's going to be a final answer for the alloy so that's how you would do it the critical thing here is this part this is how you use the q over here 